Why, good morning everybody. I hope you're all having a beautiful day. Today I'm just going to do a quick video on the whole 10 year challenge thing. It has been quite interesting. It's blown up all over the internet, all over Facebook, all over Instagram. It's been quite interesting to see people that you've known for over 10 years or people that you've just met, seeing photos from 10 years ago, seeing how much they've achieved. It's quite interesting, but then it also brings up other subjects like how climate change, how it's changed in the past 10 years and how it's going to change in the next 10 years if we don't do anything when it comes to um, just everything, when it comes to animal agriculture, when it comes to uh, deforestation because of animal agriculture, when it comes to the ocean, when it comes to the reef, when it comes to um, how much fish will be in the ocean, uh, even in New Zealand when it comes to New Zealand riverways. Um, New Zealand has intensely turned into a dairy country which has completely destroyed our riverways. How, how much has that changed in the last 10 years? Even um, the Maori New Zealand are quite concerned about that. The iwi have gone together, the elders, and are talking about that. So the whole climate change thing, the animal agriculture thing, uh, veganism. And I think the world is going to change to better understand that living a completely different lifestyle is really good instead of um, farming food to feed to animals and then to eat ourselves isn't sustainable especially with the population growth so producing food to just eat ourselves um, when I think about what's happened in the last 10 years when it comes to the veganism and vegetarianism and all that sort of stuff uh, a lot of products now aren't tested on animals, so testing on animal thing is something personal I push and I push companies to stop testing on animals because it's not predictive for the human species but also it's just a waste of money and time. There's a lot of companies now that don't test on animals and companies that have tested on animals for years and decades are now not testing on animals and also not selling in China which is really good, but also we need to push for medical testing to not be tested on animals in the next 10 years. I think more people are not believing the whole animal testing helps humans lie. Also, we're going to push for that as well. But even just like how many um, products are in the shops now from what we have now, from what we had 10 years ago, I believe Seven years ago, we had, when it comes to vegan food, we had one soy ice cream and chocolate and vanilla, one soy cheese and two little tubs of soy yogurt, um, berry and plain. And now we just like everything, anything you can want in the world we can become vegan. If you download the app Happy Cow, that's really good because you can travel the whole world and be vegan. Even in my small town of Tiamudu, they used to have a vegetarian cafe, um, they moved to Hamilton, but uh, which is actually quite progressive for Tiamudu and they've also got a new raw vegan cake shop which is actually really progressive for Tiamudu. It's a small dairy town, it's a massive dairy factory and everyone in the surrounding area produces milk. Um, watch Dairy is Scary on YouTube, uh, milk is the worst thing for you and the environment. Um, yeah, so the whole 10 year challenge thing is quite interesting because what's happened in the past 10 years when it comes to climate change, veganism, vegetarianism, um, they're all interlinked. Um, animal testing, a lot more products are more available. I mean, my sister, um, the first thing she changed was getting out of animal tested products, which for her children have actually been really good because they don't contain a whole bunch of chemicals which used to give her children rashes they're just a whole bunch of natural products which um same price um doesn't give your children rashes or anything so they're worth a try natural products make your own products when it comes to all sort of stuff and yeah so I've changed a lot in the past 10 years. I've got into fermenting food, which is really good for the whole mind-gut connection. I'm eating more whole foods. Um, I'm not drinking alcohol or anything like that. So I've changed a lot in the past 10 years and I want 
you guys change as well, especially if you uh, are not vegetarian or vegan, or try the vegan lifestyle because it is really good for the mind and the body and the mind gut connection. Um, fermented foods is really good for the mind gut connection and um, just become the better, best version of yourself. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Also, I'd love to see your 10 year challenge. Um, how Oh, well, even just um, post in the comments down below how much have you changed in the last 10 years? Have you turned vegetarian? Have you turned vegan? Have you started eating more fermented foods? Have you started doing more for your community? Um, have you had children? Have you got married? Have you got a degree? I just love to hear in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And thanks for watching.